I never say there is. Just know the great spirit of thanksgiving to God for this wonderful sign to be here among you all these 11 plus years. I've truly been blessed by each and every one of you. Your faith has inspired my own faith. So you know I give thanks to God for this wonderful gift that I'm sending me here to situate the St. Mary's Parish. In these 11 years I have given you my heart, you and your children have given me yours. I know I will always carry you in my heart. I pray that you will keep me in your heart and pray for me. I was thinking of a couple of scriptural passages. One of them was uh, in the Gospel of Men. Uh, Jesus said, Cure in Simon's brother and I went off the grace for the night of prayer. Next morning, Simon, some of the disciples came to him. Boy, why the people are looking for you? He says, uh, To other towns, villages, I must go. This I have been called. So it is with me. They've been called to the wrong. But the image that has stuck with me the most is the image of Abraham, our father of faith. In 75, the Lord asked him to set out on a land he knew not. But he traveled in faith. We know in the scriptures that the Lord was with him. So the Lord is asking me to step out in faith. I know in my own experiences that the Lord has always gone before me. And that gives me great peace and reassurance. But it will not be easy. I've not had a chance to talk with you after Mass since the beginning of March. Even now, to say goodbye is difficult with masks and social distancing. I miss all of you very much. And I don't think we can have a proper goodbye, but we'll do the best we can. It's hard to say goodbye. Just know this, that I love each and every one of you. And I will always carry you in my heart. I know that the Lord will be with me and also be with you. We had wonderful meeting today to sort of motivate us in this, this weekend. Beautiful example of the canine of his faith. All we can do is hold on to our faith. Trust in the Lord. Know that he's with us. We love you. You always be with me. God bless you.
warm, dedicators, and humble servants of God. Through your steadfast ministry of service, you have made a lasting impression on everyone here at St. Mary's, and I promise you, you will not be forgotten. I came across a few words that I think sums up what we all feel today. God sent you to this place to lead us by word and example along the way, to help us live our faith more deeply and faithfully every day. No matter the hour, whatever the need, you've gone the extra mile, always ready and willing to share a comforting thought and smile. We're grateful that you are here with us to teach us from his word, and we will try to do our best in our service of the Lord. We thank you for your ministry, your guidance, and your care. His greatest blessing for your life is our most humble prayer. Father Canon, thank you for your, all you've done here at St. Mary's and for being a good and faithful shepherd to all of us. And we wish you every blessing in your new assignment and promise of our prayers.